ever heard of this word in my life. I have no idea what this means. Another word that I've never heard of before, swinging. Um, Good afternoon from a wet and windy Wednesday in the middle of summer in the south of England. I'm Jamie, I'm back, and today we'll be covering KO Law Department uh, English entrance exams. So this one's a little different. Uh, there is a paragraph of text that I will read. There are certain words that are underlined, and then on the next page is a list of definitions and you have to match the definitions to the underlined word. So, I had a bit of trouble reading some of these words. They are, I, I recognize most of them, but I don't use, I use coerced, I use accomplices and lay. So I use three out of the, I think it's ten. Three or out of nine or ten of these words. So, this could be a bit of a challenge. The first definition is to make up or invent something. So, to make up or invent something is either bogus or concoct. But, in this case, bogus, because bogus charges means made up charges. Uh, now bogus is not a word that is commonly used, so first definition is bogus. The second definition, to remove a problem or the need for something. In dictments? Hang on. I'm changing my answer for the first question. And that's only because I've just read definition number four, which is very similar but slightly different. Definition one is actually for concoct, to make something up. I would assume Ted is going to edit me just writing down words out. That was my girlfriend. <laughs> For all of that, I will change the way I'm going to approach this question, and I'm going to answer each word at a time. So instead of doing definition first, I'm going to do word first and match it to the definition. So the first word is accomplices. And definitions? It is definition number eight. A person who helps another to commit a crime or do something wrong. Okay. Efficacious. I have honestly never heard of this word in my life. I have no idea what this means. So what I'm going to try and do is use the language around that word, uh, using the context to try and figure out the meaning. So there are expectations that the system will be efficacious in combating organized crime. So, organized crime is a big problem in Japan, so if the system will be efficacious against it, that probably means it's going to be effective or good in, in some way. So, let's see if the definitions that mean that. Producing the result that is wanted or intended. Efficacious. Produ producing the result that is wanted or intended. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to draft that down. I'm not entirely sure, but that sounds like it could work, right? Next word concoct. Now, I do know the word concoct and it means to make something. In this case, I think it is yeah, to make up or invent some, which is definition 0. Why did you start numbering from 0? Why wouldn't you start from 1? Crazy. Which then leaves obviating Another word that, if I'm honest, I've never heard in my entire life. 21 years on this earth, I do not know what obviating means. So, if 
we read the passage. In the United States, about 90% of criminal cases are settled through plea bargaining, thus obviating a lengthy trial process and helping to reduce the level. Obviating. So if it's obviating a lengthy trial process, it is reducing or taking away a long trial process, which means... Uh, definition one is to remove a problem or the need for something. Definition number one. Okay, leniency. I do know the word. Uh, I use it quite often. Number nine, the fact or quality of being less strict than expected when punishing someone or when making sure that rules are obeyed. Leniency, number nine. Indictment, but I'm not entirely sure what it means. Um, I'm going to come back to indictment. So bogus, we covered before, it is three. Not true, real, or genuine. A bogus, the adjective, then it is not real, not true, um, or genuine. Okay, another word that I've never heard of before, swinging. Um, in the context, it says the police and prosecutors came under swinging criticism for investigations that relied heavily on the confessions of subjects. Now, swinging here sounds like it means heavy criticism, lots and lots of criticism. So, uh, definition number four, very large, high, or severe. Sounds like it matches that description. So, swinging number four. Co- First, I have used this word before, I do know what this word means. Uh, in context, it says, talking about the investigations of people being um, sort of pressured into admitting crimes. So, if you're coerced by an interrogator, you are pressured by an interrogator to make false statements, bogus statements. Uh, so if we look at the definitions, there you go. To force someone to do something by using threats. That sounds like it pretty much matches up, which is definition number two. So that leaves lay and indictment left. So, aha, definitions six and seven are the ones remaining. So not having expert knowledge or professional qualifications in a particular subject and an official accusation of a crime. So to increase the transparency in the interrogation process, the revised law on criminal proceedings in 2016 made it mandatory for the police and prosecutors to make audio-visual recordings of the interrogation of suspects in certain serious crimes that are subject to lay judge trials. Well, if that's the case, not having expert knowledge doesn't really fit here, that doesn't make any sense. So I would assume it's an official accusation of a crime, but then an indictment doesn't mean not having professional knowledge either. Unless it does, and I just don't know that. And I've made a horrible mistake. But from what I can tell, and from the remaining definitions that I know, Number six does not make sense for lay, so I'm going to put lay as number seven and indictment as number six, which means lay definition seven. I am not fully confident in my answers in this question, and I am an English teacher. I teach this language for a living, so that should give you an idea as to how hard these questions are. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next week back in this channel, same time. Bye. The introduction of the right to plea bargain marks a major development in Japan's criminal justice system. The system enables prosecutors to drop charges or file less serious ones against suspects or defendants who cooperate by offering testimony or evidence against their accomplices. There are expectations that the system will be efficacious in combating organized crime. However, there are also concerns that it could tempt suspects or defendants to consort statements, care, concoct, concoct statements against others in seeking lesser penalties for themselves. In the United States, about 90% of criminal cases are settled through plea bargaining, thus obviating a lengthy trial process and helping to reduce the huge backlog of criminal cases. 
Most of the plea bargaining takes place in the US involves defendants pleading guilty to their own crimes in return for leniency from prosecutors, such as indictment on lesser charges. In Japan, the system has been introduced as part of a broader criminal justice reforms. What triggered the reforms was a series of cases involving bogus charges brought against innocent people. The police and prosecutors came under swing... swin... swinging? swing... it has an E, so swinging? criticism for investigations that relied heavily on the confessions of suspects who were occasionally coerced by interrogators into making fabricated statements that supported the investigators' cases. To increase transparency in the interrogation process, the revised law on criminal proceedings in 2016 made it mandatory for the police and prosecutors to make audiovisual recordings of the interrogation of suspects in certain serious crimes that are subject to lay judge trials. Be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. See you next time. Take care.